The next statement will be made by the representative of the largest city in our project, Sao Paulo, Brazil, a territory that has been doing a lot of work in favor of all social sectors and one with special international repercussions. We will now listen to Mr. Rodrigo Masi, International Relations Coordinator at the Municipality of Sao Paulo in Brazil. Mr. Masi, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, dear colleagues and partners. Uh, warm greetings from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'd like to greet especially uh, my colleagues from Brazil, José Eduardo and Valdemar Jorge from the state of Paraná. And I would like to thank the International Federation for Family Development for the invitation and greet all my colleagues who share this panel with me today. The achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals at the local level permits the complexity of teams that involve the reality of cities. Strengthening policies that support families is a part of the set of actions to make the 2030 Agenda possible. The COVID-19 pandemic, more than a health crisis, caused an economic and social crisis, highlighting inequalities and aggravating social problems in a way that the most vulnerable population suffer the most. It's important that more than ever, cities take a leadership role and act in responsible in response, sorry, to the crisis without leaving no one behind. In a great action of multiple secretariats, the city of Sao Paulo created a collaborative project between the municipal administration, civil society, organizations, and the private sector to receive donations, mobilize volunteers, and create a network to help families in situation of extreme vulnerability. So far, approximately 2 million food kits and 1 million hygiene and cleaning kits have been distributed to those who need them the most. In association with the Public Ministry of Labor, the State University of Campinas, Unicamp, and the International Labor Organization, the City of Sao Paulo supports a program that stimulates the green economy and agriculture in the south of the city. Through this project, rural producers in the region are identified and connected to the food production chain made by refugees and immigrants for distribution to vulnerable families. Around a thousand meals prepared by marginalized women, transsexuals and immigrant refugees were distributed daily in the favelas of Paraisópolis, Brasilândia and uh, Vietnam. In addition, the municipality created several programs to guarantee the supply of food and combat hungry by contracting small restaurants to offer meals to the street population and by generating of income. Priority was given to hurrying up to 3,000 female cookers who are heads of household and needed to generate income in the quarantine period. A very crucial theme for families in Sao Paulo is the education and well-being of children. Since October 21, a team of more than a thousand professionals, members of home education teams, will teach at the student's home, focusing at this moment on 5.7 million children in a highly vulnerable situation in the sick districts with the lowest AGI in the capital and 6,000 children with the same kind of disability. The City Hall also created a card so that the students from the municipal network in a situation of vulnerability have access to food 
that they used to have in municipal schools during the class period. On July 12, around six, 600,000 students almost had already benefited from the program. The City Hall invested approximately 7.7 .7 million per month. Over 300,000 food cards will be distributed, reaching more than 1 million children benefited. All municipal efforts focused on saving lives. In cases where this is unfortunately not possible, the city of Sao Paulo tries to guarantee the dignity of the victims and their families. The city hall prepared a funeral contingency plan that includes the creation of an information center, a logistic center for funerals, the rental of cold rooms and the hiring of grave diggers. It also includes the opening of funeral agents within the municipal hospitals and the permission of the families to hire private funeral services, which reduced the pressure of the municipal funeral service. Finally, recognizing the inestimable value of the life of each citizen, we developed a virtual portal with an area totally dedicated to the population of specialized content on mental health and mourning. The website has used for addresses and telephone numbers for specialized municipal services and a memorial online as a virtual space in which loved ones can be honored with texts and images. The world will never be the same and with new challenges, new kinds of needs arise. The importance of staying at home during the pandemic has broadened the lens to the relevance of families, the building of health relationships and adequate housing conditions, the fight against domestic violence and so many other crucial issues for human dignity. The Venice Declaration is more contemporary than ever and Sao Paulo will remain engaged with the sustainability agenda and the effectiveness of its communities. Thank you all for all your attention.